Hey guys, Macraft Shooter 9x18. Today we'll be testing the Ruger ARX and 38 Special Wing 77 grain. The test guide being used today is going to be a Smith & Wesson Airweight. We'll be firing through four layers of denim to a 10% equivalent gel block from clear ballistics from a distance of 10 feet. The fire shot average velocity from the Smith was 1,039.4 feet per second, coming with an average kinetic energy of 185 foot pounds or 250 joules. Let's watch and see how it performs. The measure penetration depth was a little over 9.5 inches. The round retained all of its weight, and due to its unique design, it did not expand or deform upon impact. Like my last video where the American gun around failed, I didn't really see the point in pulling an unfired bullet and comparing it to the fired one. I tested this round in 9mm and 380, and I have linked to those videos in the description. The 9mm and 380s, when tested, penetrated deeply enough into the gel to be considered passable. This is not true for the 38 Special variant, unfortunately, as it failed to meet the 12 to 18 inch mark typically viewed as the passing range for this test. Of all the rounds in 38 Special I've tested so far, this one's under penetration has been the most surprising given that it doesn't have the drawback of traditional hollow points like increased surface area after expansion. The only conclusion I can come to is that the velocity of this round wasn't enough to overcome the low mass and unique shape of the bullet disturbing the gel upon impact. This is admittedly just conjecture on my part though. The box has both the velocity and energy printed on it so you can compare advertised with measured. One reason for my test slower velocity could be that I measured from a distance of 10 feet rather than the muzzle and that I used a snub nose and am unaware of what barrel length Ruger used to take their measurement. I also checked their math for the advertised energy and as expected, it's correct. All of that said, I don't see the deviation in my measured velocity and the advertised velocity as something terribly significant. In my previous videos of this bullet design, I explained that these bullets function on the idea that the shape of the round will exert force differently in the target than a traditional FMJ, while also avoiding the possibility of clogging and clothing like a hollow point. Just as in those tests, this type of testing isn't really appropriate to make a determination to that claim's validity, as the wound channel made in ballistics gelatin isn't going to translate directly to an animal or human due to the factors like skin, bone, and organs not being present. Where these tests excel is repeated comparisons of penetration and expansion capability, the former of which this loading failed, and the latter it's not really applicable to. That is at least my understanding of ballistic gel testing, and I am by no means an expert. My goal with these tests is to simply compare various rounds to one another and leave the determination of which round to carry up to the individual. If you have any suggestions for rounds you'd like to see tested, please comment below. As always, like and subscribe to see more ammo tests, and thanks for watching.